Hi, my name is Shweta Parak and I run an organization that is called Purple People Labs. Purple because, well, it's the color of creativity and wisdom. People because when I started it, I was alone and I have always been looking for a team that comes together for the same purpose why it was started. Labs because it's a place where you can come and make mistakes, you can learn from your mistakes and you can create something that is original, that is eccentric, that is crazy, but it is something that inspires love something that inspires your dream um, well this started out of a very simple idea something that i experienced as a child so when i was home i was always told to speak my mind to be myself but when i was outside whether in school whether in my tuition class or whether with my relatives i was always asked to keep quiet come bolo okay because i would be that child who would always raise her hand up always have something to say so I thought I want to create a place where people can come, speak their mind, uh, be mad and create something different. So as the first purple person, I created something out of what I love. So I love traveling, I love children, I love watching films, I love listening to and telling stories. So I created the first project in Purple People Labs that is a film school that runs for children. When I started, um, I started with the idea of creating interesting film labs or media labs in schools. So for five years, I traveled from one school to the other, one city to the other and uh, I was wanting to create a studio. In the process of these five years of meeting different schools, different children, we ended up producing 200 short films that went to 50 international film festivals. and told stories from more than 3 lakh children, but I was unhappy. I was never feeling accomplished because my goal set in my mind was that I want to create a media lab or a studio inside a school. So I was always feeling like I am failing. I was feeling like a failure because, well, failure was really new to me. As a child, I was that child in school who would always come first in all the competitions, salad making, speaking, dancing, you name it, everything, everything except for sports. So for me, failure was new, rejection was new. So when I was walking into a school and they would say no for the program or I was, you know, meeting people, meeting brands or meeting them, they'd say, okay, this is my idea, this is what I want to do and they would not reply back, I would feel like a failure, I would feel rejected, okay. And I started taking that to my heart. Uh, but I could not see something unique that I was doing in these five years because my goal was set in my head that I want to make a studio but I could not see that I was running a film school out of a small suitcase, out of a small bag. That is something that one of my friend made me realized. He said, Shweta, you are doing something so amazing. You have made like 200 films just out of two cameras inside a bag and uh, a small edit editing system that you have out of this bag. And I was like, hey, I think, well, that's, that's actually an amazing idea. That could, that could be the next thing I want to do. So instead of the studio, I then shifted to what I already had with me. And that was a small suitcase out of which I was running uh, the film school. And I called it Cinema School in a Sanduk. And imagine the love that I got for it, that a uh, few NGOs came forward and they funded this program so I could take this cinema school in a sanduk, sanduk is a bag, to villages and teach filmmaking to children. So I got to travel to villages, I met people from completely different cultural backgrounds, different demographies and we made some amazing films. You know, um, when I was told to talk to you all today, uh, to share something inspiring, I was thinking, what is it that I'm going to talk about? Uh, should I talk about the amazing things that I've experienced, the different people that I've met, uh, the good things that I've done. But I felt uh, if I want to talk to you about something inspiring today, I want to talk to you about failure. I want to talk to you about failure because I know you all are listening to a lot of success stories. But I think my story is a story about failures because every time I failed, uh, I learned something new, I created something new out of it and I am quite happy and proud about it. So it all started when I was just 13 years old and I became a part of India's first TV channel that uh, was being run by kids in my school, thanks to my school for that opportunity. 
uh, and I felt that okay, I want to do something in media, I want to do something where I get to talk, I get to be on television, I get to talk to a lot of people and that is where the idea of Purple People Labs also came from. When I started this, uh, uh, you know, I felt oh wow, I have an amazing idea, everybody is going to love it and everybody is going to do what I want to do out of it. When I started meeting people, uh, they started giving me advice and they started giving me guidance as per the goals they had in life. So, I would meet someone, they would say, oh wow, this can scale into a really big business. Oh wow, this you can reach out to, why do you want to work with only 100 people? You can probably reach out to 1 million people. Um, oh, why are you charging such less fees? You know, this is a great business model, etc. In that process, I somewhere forgot what my purpose was, okay. Let me remind you, when I started this, I said, the reason why I started Purple People Labs was for one purpose, that is to make a difference and to create a space where people can come, exchange ideas and create something new. But in the process of doing what I was doing and meeting different people, I started listening to the various purpose that they had. So, let us say the purpose was, oh you could become a multi-millionaire, oh you can you know become an influencer, you can become this, you can become that. And somewhere I, I, I lost the core idea of where I had started it and I started measuring myself um, with the goals that other people were setting for me instead of the goal that I had set for myself. Um, so it so happened, one of my own mentors ended up telling me that hey, when small men try to cast long shadows, the sun is about to set on them. I was destroyed at 19 years old. I was destroyed because my own mentor who I am looking up to said something like that to me. I took it to my heart. After some time, I created a campaign that was called Small is Big and well, the learning that came from that failure, from that, that sentence that he told me was to realize that it is okay to take a small step. It is okay to do something small because if you are doing something small but it is significant enough to match the purpose that you live for, it is good, I mean it is okay. Um, a second thing that happened with me is, you know, as a teacher, as a, a traveler, as a filmmaker, your world is restricted to your, your team, your world is restricted to your students, your world is restricted to, uh, you know, the parents who put the faith in you. For me, it was my team also, of course, um, a lot of people walked in and walked out every time somebody would go, I would feel like a failure. I would feel like I made a wrong decision. I would feel like I am doing wrong. But I realized that it is a part of a process. It is it's not a failure. Of course, I made the right decision. I chose the right people for the right time. You know, like uh, there is a saying, they say there are some people in your life who come for a season, some come for a reason and some for a lifetime. And if you can keep that in mind, you will never see people walking in out of your life, in and out of your life as a failure. You know, sometimes you feel, oh, my friend betrayed me or the guy I love betrayed me or somebody betrayed me. Nobody betrays you. Uh, everybody comes into your life for a purpose, like I said, for a reason, for a season or for a lifetime. Similarly, another thing that happened with me is uh, when I started my entrepreneurial journey as a girl, as a woman, uh, there were a lot of questions that were raised on me. I have gone through some weird questions, I am going to pick some, some that, that are coming to my mind right now. First one was, how old are you? I said, I am 32. Oh, you are not married. Oh, you are not thinking of getting married if you are going to keep traveling like this and making films and being from one place to the other, it will get so difficult for you to run a house. Second was, oh, what does your father do? Where are you from? My father is into jewelry business, I am from Rajasthan. Oh, then why are you doing all this? Why do you even need to do all this? I am like, hello, that is what my father does. This is what I want to do. This is what I am capable of. This is what my purpose in life is. Um, I have also come through some people who have uh, asked me a question like, are you a vegetarian or a non-vegetarian? Well, this is happening between a negotiation, you know, like when I am discussing my business model or I am discussing my cost and somebody would be like, oh, you are a vegetarian or non-vegetarian? I would be, I am a vegetarian, Jen. You know all vegetarian animals are fat, you should, uh, you know what was the purpose of this person saying this to me, just to distract me from the conversation that was happening and somebody had the audacity to body shame me. Uh, I have had, I, I cannot take names and I cannot really say who the people were, uh, what position they were in, I can just say that 
you know, who've crossed their 50s um, running big organizations and uh, when they lose a verbal battle with you, they will pick on something that, that can pull you down, okay? And the easiest thing to tell a girl who is overweight is to basically comment on her weight and the person will feel that you will stop the conversation, but that never happened to me. I love my body, uh, I, I love who I am, uh, but at the same time, I realize that in that anger and being that rebellious, oh, I'll show you no matter what body I am in, I'm still going to be good, I'm still going to be successful. I did not concentrate on my health and that is one failure that, that I see as a failure that I want to overcome. Uh, I'm working on it, I'm trying to work on it. And it's okay, you know, I mean, it's, it's okay what people tell you, but what you hear and what you take to your heart and what you take, what you take to your head is completely on you. You know, sometimes it's okay to take things to your heart, okay. Um, it's okay to take things to your heart, it's okay to cry, it's okay to get angry, it's okay to just, just let your emotions out, but do not let it go to your head, because if it goes to your head, uh, you will slow down. Your, your head should always be in place. Your heart will understand. It will take its time to heal and you should let that happen. Um, one other failure, one of one failure that uh, has happened recently and something uh, that really, really shook me. One of my own student, you know, my, my own student, my, my, my brother, my friend uh, ended up telling me that, oh, Shweta, you've been a failure for the last eight years, you know. I was shocked and I was crying. I was in tears. I was in, I was in tears and uh, I was in tears not because I felt like a failure because it's because I felt like, I felt like I failed at the love and faith that I've put in someone. But I realized that he was judging me on the basis of what success means to him. What success meant to him probably was, oh, you're not a millionaire. You've not made a lot of money, but hey, the whole reason why I started Purple People Labs, the purpose was not to make money, but to make a difference. The purpose was not to reach a million people, but to reach, to reach people significantly in, in a way that, that they can tell their stories, in a way that things can change for them. Are we doing that? Well, we are. And that is why I think, uh, you know, when we go through failures, it is important to just look back to look within yourself and see why you are doing what you are doing, where you are, why you are there and you will realize that there are no failures, there are only learnings and if you can stick to your core and stay true to your purpose, you will embrace and love the failures that are happening uh, in your process because then you will start learning from them and that is how you will be successful. Successful, successful in the eyes of who you want to be, whether you want to be, you want to be mad, you want to be crazy, you want to be amazing, that success is your benchmark. And if you want to stay at that, find your purpose, be yourself. And uh, one last thing that we always say in Purple People Labs is, go purple. Thank you.